house board. Board in a house. Board in a house board. Um, it's raining outside. I'm feeling really Now in Soho, we're going to a cult classic, Raku. Uh, meeting up with my friend there, but yeah, today is like the perfect day to eat a warm bowl of udon. And I haven't been to Raku in a hot minute, so I'm very excited. Look at this weather. job after college was on this block and I was making chump change and still spending that chump change on uh, Zara clothes during my lunch break. days ago I told you guys that spring might be here it is not we got plates freaking hailing right now as we speak and look at this back home like today was such a good day even though the weather was crap I felt like I had such a good healing time with my girl Hobbin um, it's always a healing time with her so I feel so good I like even worked out today and yeah and now I'm about to go to bed before I do so I want to like open up this package that I got from Sunday Aroma Co <laughs> again because I only have like two more days of fun employment and I start my new job so today my friend and I are gonna head to the new museum it's located in the Lower East Side so I'll be back there for like the third time in one week and we're gonna probably eat good food and hit up a nice bar we made it to the city <laughs> my friend Grace we're gonna head to this bar called Bonnie V I'm gonna kill some time before we head to the new museum. Do you know anything about this museum that we're about to head up? I've been there a few times. Okay. But I think they got some new exhibition. Yay! Fashion's culture! Cheers! Old fashioned. That's the 
um, the World Trade Center, the Freedom Tower. Was it? Yes. <laughs> the best city ever. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm on my way now to get some lunch at this restaurant called Beat Masa Soba. I highly recommend Beat Masa Soba for anyone who wants to get dinner with a good setting, dope food. You know, they have like a wide selection of beers. For appetizers, we should do that one. Perfect, because it's one each. So soft. Come on, ginger ale, please. Thank you. Add some rice vinegar. Add it after we mix everything, because it's gonna change a little bit of taste. Ah, oh, okay, okay. And for the rice, after we finish uh, all the ramen, you can mix with the rice. Oh. Hey guys, we just finished eating lunch. I'm about to take you guys to one of the best coffee shops in Flushing. It's called Cafe Toa and it's right off the Broadway Fort Washington line. It's so windy today. Oh yo Cafe Toa what's up? Oh, it's good, it's good. All right, now we're gonna head to Croffle House for some dessert. Just like a hot tip for anyone who's trying to eat in Flushing, all you gotta do is hop on the Long Island Railroad at Penn Station and take the Port Washington line and every stop starting from Flushing Main Street, Murray Hill, Broadway, every stop around you, you will have so many good restaurants and coffee shops. Like Flushing Main Street, that's where all the Chinese food is. Honestly, Queens is the freaking best. Last stop of this Flushing food tour situation, we're gonna eat at can't get over how good this coffee is. Ketchup, yeah. Ketchup. honey mustard. Yeah. You know what I'm always reminded of? Princess Diaries. <laughs> oh, oh, hot. Hot? The honey mustard slap. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I thought that it would be kind of cute to do a where to go, where to eat thing, especially in Queens, Washington. I definitely want to highlight all the, the local shops and restaurants that I love. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting.